I'm also pretty good. Thanks for asking. Okay. So before starting, could you please introduce yourself? That where are you from and what do you do? Okay, ma'am. Uh, so if I talk about uh, myself, uh, my name is Muhammad Imran. I'm from Pakistan. I live mm -hmm. the part of Pakistan, KPK. So right now I have done my 12 years. Now I am preparing for university. So still I didn't take admission in university. So right now I have uh, as a English uh, good speaker, but I am passionate about English. I want to learn English. So I am also YouTuber. I have created my YouTube channel. So this is all about me. Okay, okay. So there also you upload this videos like conversational videos is it yes 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 ma'am okay so that's fine and let me introduce myself also so i am sachi johan and i'm from gwalior mp um, you must have heard about this okay and i have done my masters right now i'm just preparing for my phd and my csir net entrance exam and on the other hand, I'm also working on my language. I am just trying to brush up my language as much as I can, trying to be a more fluent. So, yeah, that's all about it. Okay, that's nice. Really, Memo, I have seen so many videos on YouTube, especially on your video. I wish to I will take session with you, but now, now I connect with you. So I have learned a lot of things, especially from your videos. Okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, something about this English journey, like how long you have been working on this language? Uh, please share something. Okay, Mima, I have been learning English for last uh, six or seven months, but uh, mm -hmm. still I am not uh, too much, uh, you know, good speaker. I am not uh, too much speak fluently English, but I am trying to speak. Uh, fluently english i brush up my english but uh, english uh, you know it's a uh, take time it's one to practice without practice uh, we can't improve our english we give more and more time to english so definitely we will be improve our english of course we have to uh, speak more and more because unless we speak we can't improve our spoken english we can be good at writing and listening and other things but when it comes to speaking, we have to speak anyhow. So that's great. It's only six and seven months that you have been working on this language. So that's fine. But you are speaking good as I can observe. You just need to speak more and more. And apart from this, how much time do you okay. spend in other activities like uh, reading or listening? Do you do this kind of thing also? Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, really, I am doing this activity which uh, there are uh, four module for learning like writing, reading, listening, speaking. But this four module, it's really important for learning. But actually, I am focusing on two things. So one is a uh, practice, another one is listening. This two things is really, you know, essential. Uh, according to my junior experience, these two things is really important for a learner. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay, ma oh, yeah. yeah. OK, ma'am, tell me something about your English journey. How did you learn English? Who suggested you you learn English? So my actually I'm also I've been learning it's one year, I can say, or more than one and one half years. I am also I have done my graduation and post graduation, everything from the Hindi. So I'm a Hindi medium student and it, it's been a one and a half year i have decided to work on this language and i am getting very desperate to learn this language and initially when i had started this journey so i used to spend my most of the time in listening reading even now it is also i'm doing but speaking is something very essential so i find you know find out uh, i found out some or one or two my friends that was very hard that time then I started to conversation with them. We had started to chat on daily basis. So it is it was about the spoken part and on the other thing on other things we can do with ourselves. We don't need anyone, but only in spoken part. So we need someone. So we had started. I had started with the one application also. The name is Ace Fluency. So I started yeah. to use that 
in my initial uh, stage <clears throat> so when i start when i felt that now i don't need this application and i have a people that with them i can do practice then i just uh, left that uh, so okay. name is fluent app so there is a you know they provide uh, every day free talk time at least 25 to 30 minute if i am not wrong yeah i don't know about what is going now it is but that time it was so i okay. had started that application for spoken part wow that's great yes really you maybe you did a lot of hard work uh, especially on yourself uh, so i have also seen some video on youtube especially there is some uh, you have mentioned that mm-hmm. another clipengo clipengo apps uh, cambly apps there are so many application available on youtube there people they are uh, making a conversation on this platform but uh, this platform it's really important for us we can communicate to each other but uh, mm-hmm. it's depend on a person you know if you give time uh, if you are energetic you are passionate about language so definitely you can achieve your destination you have mentioned before before you have used as fluency application so now uh, really you are speaking uh, it's really good i'm really appreciate you man yeah thank you and it's it's a journey i'm not going to stop here i'm just going to every day because the vocab is something that we can't learn in a one day we can't learn it overnight but over the time we can learn it so vocab is something and other uh, part of the grammar and other topics we can clear within a few days but vocab is something that is very fast that is very massive so we have to work on every single day in order to enhance our vocabulary yeah definitely ma'am you are right you know vocabulary it's really crucial white rule especially on spoken vocabulary like uh, you know bullet if you have bullet if you don't have bullet so you don't uh, you know shoot so vocabulary it's really important for learner if you have vocabulary you can speak fluently english if you have if you don't have vocabulary so you can't speak fluently english so we try to uh, when we are a speaker when we we are communicate to someone so definitely you know we are need vocabulary so vocabulary is really important right right but i i want to add here one thing vocabulary is of course that is i already mentioned it is a very massive we need to work on each and every single day in order to become a good speaker but it does not mean that lack if we have a lack of vocabulary people are not speaking so i have seen number of people they ask me or some of my students also they say you know just just teach me vocab just teach me vocab at least 10 vocab 20 vocab every day so i have observed this thing and i explain them it's not going to work initially i had also started this thing i used to write 10 20 vocabs every single day i try to map up that but over the time i realized it's not going to work for me every single yeah. day we can one vocab that is enough two vocab that is enough but the thing is that how much time we are using that vocab some people comes to me some of my students also my friends also they have started their english journey uh, so they ask me you know always you, you just tell me 10 vocab every single day i share them it's not going to work for you i can share 10 vocab 20 vocab it's very easy to on google we can go we can find infinite vocab out there right but the thing yeah. is that we should inculcate in our mind it's not enough yeah. to pull our uh, you know pull our copies and register we have written the words that is not enough so vocab is important but the thing yes. is that you have yes really ma'am uh, this thing is really important you know you have mentioned some people they have a lot of vocabulary but they are not able to they are speak uh, fluently english they say say to me how can we speak english fluently i says to them it is not a one day one day time or two days it's take time but you are uh, you know you relax you give time so you should learn you know they say like that we are no grammar uh, parts of speech and everything related with grammar but still we are not able to be speak fluently english to someone what's the reason the reason is that uh, so you don't practice so, you, so another is that uh, i know myself i make a lot of mistake but i am not welcome 
inshallah we will be correct or mistake no one is perfect even native speaker also they commit mistake their own language but you will be try more and more one day will come you will be speak a good you will be speak is a good way right so you are also good uh, speaker i can say you are speaking very well manner why uh, you know initially when we had started our video so you were telling me that i am not a good speaker but i can say you are a good speaker Right. No, 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 no. Still, I am not good speaker, ma'am. I am trying to I learn something from you. Every everyone is trying. I must say. Sometimes, what happened? You know, uh, it happens to me. I always try to experiment with me. Sometimes I start to fumble. I start to, you know, some. Uh, I use you know wrong <laughs> words sometimes. But after that, I realize when someone is there, and I I just try to rush through. then i start to make mistake so i start to think i start to observe myself find what i need to improve so the improvement that is life long i can say yes that we have realized that is enough because yes. until we realize this thing we cannot improve yes definitely ma'am so you know we have mentioned the uh, majority student they you know they are feel shy they are they are very talented but they are not uh, able to they are speak fluently english in front of someone the main thing is confidence confidence is really important if you have confidence you can do each and everything if you don't have confidence if you are too much vocabulary if you know very well english but you are nothing mm, right right so i okay. want to know Yeah, I want to know from you that how much time do you are uh, that you are spending in spoken English and this spoken part. Or do you speak? So, do you converse with anyone? Is there anyone your surroundings, your friend circle, your siblings? <coughs> and no, actually, ma'am, our uh, you know uh, hometown, you know there is no specific environment. Environment we can speak uh, English with them. but only i use you know a social platform or i connect different people from different area only i give 30 minute or 20 minute to them by this way little bit uh, i speak english with them so sometime you know i found uh, some vocabulary words uh, when i have some problem then after i put on you know google and other dictionary i can't find the exact meaning then after i write my notebook uh, so i try my best uh, i use in uh, especially on a uh, communication skill why if you can use in communication so it will never forget in your mind so the main reason is that uh, I want to know one thing from you. Uh, like we all are saying right now, we are learners. If someone asks us to, we can say, "I am also. I I don't consider myself that I am good at this language." So, what is the perfect uh, stage according to you? Okay, it's it's completely. I want to know your opinion. What is the perfect stage that you can say now? I am a fluent speaker. What do you feel? Sorry, ma'am, I don't catch your words. Okay, so I want to know from you. Right now, I am also considering myself that I am a learner. Fine. Yes. I yes. 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 so i want to know that what is the actual state that we can say i am a good uh, speaker or i am a fluent speaker and you will say yourself that now i am a good speaker what will be the stage so ma'am according to my opinion so you know first of all uh, uh, my junior experience we say like this uh, it is not our uh, first language it is not our first language it is uh, our second language uh, those uh, people uh, who are beginner they are watch uh, our video they say like that you are very good speaker you are speak very fluently english but actually we are not consider ourselves as a good speaker every time we will try to we enhance uh, we learn a lot of things uh, in this language we will never think about uh, so we are perfect no one is perfect uh, even you can try to 
10 years or 20 years, you will be don't consider yourself as a good speaker. Every time you try to as a learner. Yes, there is not any certain time, not any certain stage that where we can say with our mouth, okay. Others can say that is fine, that is appreciable, that uh, others is coming to us and we are saying that, yeah, you are good. And But we cannot satisfy ourselves and that is a right. We should not content ourselves in each and in nothing, I think. Not only in English, we should not content and we should be happy, but we should not be satisfied. Because if yes, we get yes. stop learning, so find yes. that which I can say. Okay, Memo, what's your uh, native mother tongue? Hindi? Yes. Okay. Okay, Memo, how much time you give to your practice? How much time I'm, I'm spending? So when I had started, so I already mentioned that I used to spend time on, on you know, every aspect like uh, 30 minutes this is a set for reading 30 minutes for listening 30 minutes uh, 20 minutes or you know two page three page for writing and for speaking also i'm converse i'm using that i used to use that app also is fluency around 20 to 25 minutes apart from this if i got any friend so i can talk with her very rarely it used to happen and I'm also talking to myself also. I'm trying to uh, giving presentation to myself. Okay, if this topic, if I had to uh, represent others, how will I represent? How will I speak? So this thing I used to do it. But nowadays it has reduced because uh, uh, I am also listening. But uh, some interesting podcast and all reading also I'm doing. But and speaking whenever I, I get a time and of course there are some people they are from youtubers so with them i'm doing speaking i'm also learning a lot so at least two three hours so i can say i am still spending on english wow that's I'm great nice for my student for some online offline classes so from classes also i'm learning a lot so overall english at least two three hours easily i can say i'm spending Okay, that's nice. Good. Yeah. And any okay, question? Ma okay, ma'am. Uh, did you join any English institute? No, no. I haven't joined any English institute. I told okay, you I have started half years ago with my myself. Okay, only you have learned from yourself. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, Memo, may I ask one question from you? So now we are, uh, suppose uh, we are take online class. Uh, so which one is better? Online class is better or offline class is better for us? In this thing, online, offline, both are better or both, both are not better. Uh, the thing is that it's completely, uh, you know, depend on us. Because there is a quote that I've read in Abdul Kalam's book that is being so fire that a week, you know, a, if a student is good, he can learn from the worst teacher also. But student is not good, he can't learn from even the best teacher. So it's completely yes. depends on that, that I feel. I, I believe that it completely depends on the learner. It, it is not depend on the teacher and same goes with the offline and online classes also it completely depends on us in online classes also we can learn a lot if we have grief you know if we are really want to learn something but if we don't want okay. to learn something we people are joining these english classes they are spending uh, you know a good amount of money but still they are not learning anything so it, it is just a myth Line offline good teacher, bad teacher, the way of opinion, something it's completely it depends on the learners. Really, it's depend on the learner, those who are passionate, who are enthusiastic, they can learn everywhere. Those who are not energetic, no passionate, they will not learn. The same example like a hand finger are not equal. Right, right. Of course. Okay, ma'am. Uh, have a nice talking to you. Inshallah, see you the next time.
Yeah, sure. Okay, have a good day. It was wonderful conversation. Thank you. Okay, ma'am, can I upload this video on my YouTube channel? Yeah, sure. Okay, you can also upload this video. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye, ma'am. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you. Burn a lot of things.